Okay, right, here we go. We're going to draw a little bunny. I think you know which little bunny. Um, I'm going to press really lightly to start with. I've got a big fat 3B, no actually it's a 6B pencil, so really soft, which is really good for starting your drawing because you can press lightly and still see the marks. You can rub them out afterwards easier. So anyway, we're going to have a little round shape here, which is going to be Bunny's face. I'm going to put a little line across the middle, a little curved line that's going to show us where his eyes are, and a little line to show us where the center of his face will be. Now I'm going to have him looking at a book, so I'm going to put the book in. It needs to be about, about here, so I just draw a book. I think that is World Book Day, we ought to have him reading. So that's one side of the book, and the other side will go off in that direction. That's a sort of idea, isn't it? And you'll see some of the pages on that side. And you'll see some of the pages on that side. It's a pretty thick book. He's going to be holding that, so I'm going to have to wrap his little fingers around that end of the book. And we're going to wrap his little fingers around this edge of the book. Because that's where he's holding on to it. What he looks like, a rabbit reading a book. But no ears, obviously. Now he's going to be sitting down, his body is going to be, I better just put the rest of his arm, his shoulder will be about there, so his arm will come round like that. You won't see the other arm, probably just a little bit maybe there to show his arm stretched out, holding that side. Then he's going to have his little body, which will be in here. So his bottom will be about there. And because he's sitting down on the floor, have his knees bent behind the book and the book resting on his rather large bunny feet. So I have one foot there, one foot would probably be about there, so his leg would go back from there. So it's just roughly where his feet will be, and his toes. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Um, now I'll put that line there so I could show where his eyes would go. So his eyes are going to be on that line. I'm going to have his eyebrows up high because he's enjoying himself reading. Now he has a little curved line between his eyes and just below that another little curved line which is the top of his nose. That comes down to a point there, like a little V-shape which then has a tiny little line underneath it, so it looks like a, a Y shape. Anyway, that's where his muzzle goes. So his muzzle's going to go around there like that. And I'm going to give him a little smile. So I'll just put a little line for the edge of his smile. His mouth is going to be open, but it's going to be behind the book, so we're not going to see that, so it doesn't matter. We'll show enough of it so we can tell how he's feeling. I'm going to bring a little line around the edge of his eyes because he has a lighter patch that goes around his eyes. And he also has some little whiskery bits sticking out the side of his face on both sides. Like that. Now we'll do his ears. One ear going up there like that. It's like a little a bit like a leaf shape, but it's um, rounded off at the ends. So I'm going to bend that ear forward a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. So that come round like that. Okay, I think it'd be quite nice if he's reading it to somebody, so I'm going to put his eyes looking sideways. And over here, now this is where the rabbit is sitting. If he was sitting against maybe a tree stump, that might work quite well. A lift, who's going to be quite a little character, up a bit higher, won't it? Um, I talk to myself quite a lot when I'm drawing, so don't be alarmed. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a little mouse who's looking over his shoulder at the book. So he's got a little wedge-shaped face like that. Leaning forwards because it's a bit exciting. He doesn't want to miss anything. He's got his little pear-shaped body like that. Big ear at the back like that. Another one there. Eye about there. So he's 
know this will be here somewhere. I can't really see very well at the moment because I'm using my soft pencil. And he'll have his little arms in front of him like this. Oh, so exciting. He's almost got little fists there in his paws. His feet will be like that to hold him up and his tail will go to the back. Now I've planned my drawing out. This is going to be the general area that we're going to cover. So now I can press a bit harder. <clears throat> Let's do Rabbit's eyes first of all. You see how now I'm pressing harder, the line is much stronger. And I'm going to leave a little white circle, which I shall colour up to. And that makes our rabbit look like he's got eyes that are shining. And because he's looking sideways, we're going to see a little bit of the whites of his eye on that side like that. Eyebrow can be a bit darker. Nose is going to be quite dark. I'm sure his nostrils about there. Little line there. Well, this is a soft pencil because it's quite sharp. I can use the tip of it to get quite a nice sharp edge. Um, don't want that bit to be too sharp. I just want a bit more defined. So I'll do his other eye. Just check it's in the right place first. Before I get too heavy with the pencil. And that one needs to be looking sideways as well. Another high eyebrow. I'm just going to press a little bit harder on the edge of his face there like that. I better put the edge of the book in because that determines where how much of his face we can see so we don't want to draw too much and then find that um, it's hanging over the top of the book because that will lose the illusion that he's behind it. Anyway, that's going to be the edge of the pages. So now we can put that bit of his mouth in. That bit of his, where his teeth go, and that's about all we're going to see. I'll put the side of his face in there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Do the mouse's nose. And the mouse is going to be looking... Very excited about all this. Got really quite big eyes, this mouse. There's his ear. Or her ear, I don't know if it's a boy mouse or a girl mouse yet. These are the sort of things you decide as you go along, really. Anyway, there's our little mouse leaning forward, so it's next. Leaning like that, shoulders about there. We've got little mousy fingers like that, because he's captivated by the story. So he's leaning forward so he doesn't miss anything. Bottom is going to be there, his legs going to be forwards, and then his little feet will be like that. The other one. Okay, we're going to do his tail. Um, the rabbit's side, so the rabbit's face is about there. Okay, remember, I said we'd got those areas around his eyes. I'm just going to darken those a little bit like that because we're going to put some shading in in a minute, and I want to know where it needs to go. We can put line around his ears. Done a little bit of a broken line because he's furry. If we do a solid one it looks too smooth. Do, do, do. Apologies if my hand is in the way of the camera but um, you kind of have to 
put it where you needed it to be. This is going to be the black tips of his ears, like that. Right, let's do this hand. One, two. I've just given him three fingers, and I'm cheating a little bit because rabbits don't really have fingers as such, but um, mine does. It's very useful when you want to hold things. Now, we'll do the other side of his book. I'll do his little fingers wrapped around it, like that. There we go. He said, didn't we, that we'd have a little suggestion of his arm in there, but we don't need to worry about that. His foot. I'm going to do one, two, three toes, and then that's going to have like a little, almost like a little pad there under his foot. And then we can draw the bottom of the book now. I do tend to hum when I'm drawing, but don't worry about it, it's completely natural. Um, his other leg's going to be behind the book there, and his other foot is going to come over here, and again we'll have one, two, three toes like that. I think because we want it to look quite natural, I'll suggest that he's sitting in some grass or something, because I think that will make it look a little bit more in keeping with uh, the tree trunk. The tree trunk, we can now put in a little bit of detail, not too much, it doesn't need very much just a suggestion of roots and things at the bottom of it just to make it look more like a tree trunk do the top edge like that there we go that will do um right well it's virtually there isn't it um now we're gonna have a little bit of a clean up this is a rather disgusting looking kneadable putty rubber um you sort of squish it to the shape you want and it, it lifts off the surface of the of the drawing. So I can take out that little line I don't need anymore on the centre of his face, just really by like touching the rubber against the paper. Take out those guidelines that we don't need. There we go. Just really clean everything up a little bit. I don't want to get too fussy because a few little marks are, are quite nice sometimes. It just makes it look a little bit more natural and um, free-flowing, I suppose, is the one way of putting it. Okay. Now we're going to put a little bit of shading on because um, I've got a really soft pencil. I can press really lightly and start to put some shading underneath the eye and the texture of the paper comes out in the shading so I put a little bit across there, leave a little highlight on the top leave a little highlight on the top of the nose put some shadow over the nose I bring a little bit more she's pressing again a little bit harder at the bottom I want it darker a little bit harder and immediately under his eye there like that. I want it darker. A little bit harder between his eyes there and then gradually soften that as we go up. So I'm hardly pressing at all now because I want it to be really light at the top edge. <laughs> A little bit under there, not too much. A little bit darker under here again. It's starting to look like the little bunny we know and love, isn't it? I don't want a lot of shadow on this side, but I'm assuming that the sunshine is, uh, the light is coming from the top right, so the shadows will be on this side. So we could actually put a little bit of shadow down that side of the book. Just done all that in straight lines, just 
I don't know, because I can. A little bit down there as well. I hope it's catching the light a bit more so that won't be so dark. A little smudge there. Maybe a little bit on there as well, just for good luck. And a little smudge down this side. And maybe even over that light a bunch of light. Just so the light's coming from that side. Now, if it all starts to get a little bit dark, then don't worry, because remember, we've got our putty rubber that we can lift the surface off with again and lighten up. The inside edge of Izzy is, is a little bit lighter than the outside edges. Same with this one. And I'm leaving a little edge that I'm not putting any shading in because I want it to look like the sun's catching the top. The mouse will have a similar sort of shadow, so a little bit on the nose, a little bit under there. And like the rabbit, the top half of his face is the darker colour and a bit around the, the nose and mouth is lighter. Likewise on the body, the, the underside, the stomach of the mouse is um, lighter, the legs are darker. And we can put just a little bit of shadow on the mouse's stomach, but not too much. Okay, now we better just do these paws just a little bit of shadow again I'm darker on the left because the light's coming from the right a bit of shadow under there we can put some shadow on the soles of the feet because they're got the light behind them too this leg will be in shadow because that's well out of the way and it's also shaded by the book so we could go quite dark in there a little bit of shadow on his tummy, not quite as dark as that because it's a lighter tone in the first place. A little bit of shadow under there. We put a bit of shadow under the book onto his leg. And some shadow on the bottom of that foot there. A little bit of shadow on his fingers. I'm going to put a little darker shadow on the book actually. I'm going a bit diagonally with it this time, just for a change. Here we go. I'm going to put like a little frame on the front of this book. I don't want to put a lot of detail on it, I just want it to look as though it's maybe got a picture in a frame on the front. Um, maybe. Oh, let's just put. Day. Okay, right, we're almost there. I just want to put a little bit of a darker colour in here. On the tree trunk. shadow on the mouse there and then I think it'd be quite nice to just have a suggestion of a few leaves and things in the background just so we get the feeling that they're they're out of doors and it's a nice day and they're just enjoying being out in the sunshine reading a story we live in hope don't we there we go, and final touches. Now, it's really important that Bunny has highlight on his eye, and I've rather gone over the one on that side, and this side looks a little bit too heavy too, so I'm gonna use this. This is my battery powered rubber, and I'm just going to refresh those little highlights and just tidy up that little edge there 
which is good for doing highlights this you can't rub out big areas but if you want to just lift the colour off off the mouse's nose a little bit there we go this drives my wife up the wall when I'm using this because it is so noisy but it really does do the job doesn't it That's it. Get the highlight on his toes. And on the top of the book. And I think we're nearly there. Um, I could tidy up his ear, but you know, I don't think I'm going to bother. Just want to give him some whiskers because it's actually quite nice. A couple of little whiskers at the top and some whiskers on the side. Drawing this quickly because if you take too long drawing whiskers they look like bits of bent wire and that really isn't very nice. And a couple for the mouse as well. And then our two little whiskery friends are reading a book in the sunshine on World Book Day which is kind of what I hope you'll be doing too. Anyway, better sign it so it'll be worth a fortune one day. Steve Small man, 2020.